The following content is a non-profit, fan-based parody. My Little Pony Friendship is Magic is owned by Hasbro. Please support the official release. Once upon a time, in the magical land of Equestria... <coughs> Sorry about that, where was I? Oh yeah! There were two regal sisters who ruled together and created harmony for all the land. To do this, they each went down to the local grocery store and bought some ketchup. No wait, no, that, that doesn't sound right. Who wrote this? Sod it, I'll do it myself. <clears throat> okay, so the elder sister raised the sun and the younger sister raised the moon. This in turn created balance for their kingdom. But sooner or later, the younger sister became pure evil! <laughs> she did this to make the story ten times better! And you know villains, they always make a story good! Anyway, so, she refused to lower the moon like a total bitch! And her elder sister had no alternative but to banish her to the moon for 1,000 years! Yes, I know, oddly specific, is it not? The older sister used the power of the elements of harmony. The elder sister then took on responsibility for both sun and moon. And harmony has been maintained in Equestria for generations since. What a great story. It's almost as great as the last 27 times I read it. <sighs> I'm so lonely. If only I had some friends. I bet you weren't expected to see us here, Twilight. We're having a little party. We will. Oh, no, 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 no. Like think, Twilight, us. think. All you seem to do uh, is read just books, tell them you have important stuff to do, like uh, washing your hair. Or, uh, no, uh, feeding but your fish. Down, we know you do, and that is why you must come to our party. Sorry, girls, I can't today. I'm feeding my hair. Damn it! Your hair? Evacuate! Evacuate! Bye! <laughs> <sighs> that pony is a complete bitch. This best friend gift I made for my homie Twilight is sure to make her happy. <laughs> Did some pony get the number of that train? There's no time to lose, Spike. I need more books. More, I say. More! Oh, what's that? Girl, I made this for you to show you how much you mean to me as a friend. Yeah, yeah, that's real nice, uh, Spike. Uh, now then, uh, where was I? Uh... Why are you looking for books again? I don't have any friends, and books are the only way to fill the gap. No, 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 no. Uh, Spike! What about this one? Perfect. Thanks. This book should help me. Aha! How to make friends, hmm. See Friend Making 101? Friends? Twilight, you have friends. I need real friends, Spike. Friends that share common interests with me. Well, I share common interests with- Like I said, real friends. Gee, thanks. Friends, friends, aha! The Mare in the Moon, myth from olden pony times. A powerful pony who wanted to rule Equestria, defeated by the elements of harmony and imprisoned in the moon. Wait, what the? This isn't the right book? Hmm. Legend has it that on the longest day of the thousandth year, the stars will aid in her escape and she will bring about Nightmare Eternal. <gasps> Spike, do you know what this means? No. Whoa! Ow. 
Write a note, please, to the princess. If I must. Dear Princess Hanbat, I have finally discovered the perfect way to make a friend. I read a book saying that on the thousandth year, which just so happens to be tomorrow, the Mare in the Moon, also known as Nightmare Moon, will return from her 1,000 year banishment. She will be my friend! Uh, Twilight, you realize that Nightmare Moon is evil, right? You don't understand, Spike. This may be my one and only chance to make a friend. It's imperative that Princess Sunbutt is told right away. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say, boss. Just don't come crying to me when Nightmare Moon stabs your pony ass. Send it! Ugh. All right, all right. <gasps> okay, it's on its way, but it may take some time for a re- Ugh. Wow, that was fast! <clears throat> My dearest, most faithful student, Twilight, I understand your need for a friend, but I say this with pure honesty. Have you lost your goddamn mind? <gasps> My dearest Twilight, I'm genuinely concerned for you. Not having any friends has gotta suck balls. I'm sending you to Ponyville to make some new friends. Oh, and don't forget to drop by the Summer Sun Celebration and pay me a visit. P.S. Gotta run to the store. I ran out of ketchup. Mm. Hey, look on the bright side. There's a library here and we're gonna break in. Ah, that's an excellent point, Spike. But do you know what else is an excellent point? Why do these Pegasus Stallions need to run on the air when they have wings? Because it looks really fucking awesome, that's why. That's your reason? Spike, you'd be a terrible science pony. If some pony came up to you and asked you to explain the theory behind the creation of Equestria, you'd simply say, because it's cool. Hey guys, nice plots. Hey, Twilight, here's your chance to make a friend. Don't botch it up. Come on, baby, give it a try. What's up, Doc? <laughs> Solid greeting, 10 out of 10, IGN. Shit. Yo, Twilight, I've been working on a fanfic. I'm gonna read you the first paragraph, and I want you to tell me what you think. Yeehaw! <sighs> oh, look, more friends. Good morning to you, my dear pony. My name is Twilight Sparkle. Well, howdy, partner. My name is Applejack. I'm your generic southern stereotype. I live on a farm, I use countryisms in every sentence, and I'm a rootinous, tootinous cowboy. Please, can you let go? Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> Spike, stop that. Stop it. Stop it. I said stop it! <clears throat> okay, now let's start from the top. I was sent here to make some friends. Would you be interested in- STAMPEDE! <laughs> now, I thought being as you're here, we could have ourselves a western feast. Um, I thought you were southern. I'm not very consistent. This here's some food. More food. Even more food. Food here, food there, food everywhere. Food, 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 food. Well, that went about as well as Dragon Ball Evolution. What a disaster! Uh, I think I might throw up. Damn, girl, you bigger than a whale. Whoa, what's that up there? There's nothing up there, Spike. You must be going crazy! <laughs> um, watch out. <laughs> Let me help you. Oops, uh, now I got you all wet. Um, uh, oh, I know! My very own patented rain blow job! Yeah, yeah, I know, it sounds dirty, but it's really... Ha ha ha!
I just want to say, that's really fucking gross. I came up with it myself. Get it? Came? As gross as that is, I will put it aside. <sighs> I'm Twilight Sparkle, and I was sent here to make some friends. Blah, blah. I've already got my eyes on some friends, very important friends, and they ain't you. Who's so important? The Wonderbolts! I'm gonna go see them tomorrow at a live show and ask them to be my friends! The Wonderbolts? Yep. The most famous Pegasi in all of Equestria? Hells yeah. <laughs> Please, they have so much more cool things to do than to be friends with some pony like you. Hey, I'm the coolest pony you'll ever meet. Bullshit. Look at that! Coolest pony ever. Anything you can do, I can do better. <laughs> you see, Twilight, there's more to me than you thought. You should never judge a book by its cover. You just got served. Well, later, bitches. Man, she owned you. <laughs> <laughs> you are one grouchy mare, Twilight. Take a chill pill. Decorations. So sexy. Well, I wouldn't quite go that far, Spike. Decorations are nice and all, but I don't think I could describe them as sexy. Nah, not the decor. Her. No, no, no. Oh, hell no. I'm losing my virginity to that mare. Good afternoon. Don't bother me now. Can't you see that I'm busy? Oh, well, call me a positively bona fide fashionista. I do know my stuff. Oh, rarity, you sexy mare. Now then, how can I have... <laughs> oh, my Benedict Arnold! What have you done to your precious men? Oh, yes, that. Don't ask. It's a short story, and I'm too lazy. I was just wondering if you would like to be my friend. Stop right there, dearie. Your mane is a death trap. Help! I'm being kidnapped! Man, I'ma tap that ass. No! No! Hell no! Too American! Too prissy! Too 80s! Not 80s enough! Too Shakespeare! Too sportsy! Oh, that looks splendid! But I think it could use a little tweaking. You're pulling too tight, you bitch! Huh? You know my name? Oh, how did you know my little name was Pitch? Are you psychic? I've always wanted to meet a psychic. Can you tell me my future? Oh dear, this won't do at all. Let me get you a hat to go with that. Run before she ruins my dress sense anymore. <sighs> I can't stop thinking about that ass. God damn it, Spike. Can I hear that fanfic now? <clears throat> okay, so, once upon a time, Um, stop please, every bird. Um, excuse me, sir? I mean, no offense, but you sound like 1,200 cats being chainsawed to death. Now, let's try again from the top. A one, a two, a one, two, three. Boom! Ah! Oh dear, um, I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to scare your birds. I only intended to scare you. If it helps, you have a nice plot. Wanna see mine? I don't want to see. Speak up, I can't hear you. I said I don't really want to. You wanna try that again? Well, uh, this is totally fucking awkward. So I guess I'll just leave. See you later, I guess. Okay. She's a total weirdo. <gasps> a baby dragon! Oh, I've never seen a baby dragon before. You're so cute. Well, well, well. Oh my, he sounds gangster. I've never met a real gangster dragon before. 
I'm so incredibly happy, I just don't even know how to react. Sorry to cut in, but we must be on our way. Oh, can I come too? Sure, girl. Hey, so, I was just wondering what it's like being a real gangster. Do you think you could teach me a ways? Okay, where do I begin? At the very start. <sighs> First step, eat with your elbows all over the damn table. Manners are for people that own custom chandeliers and children, not gangsters. And last but not least, ignore the know-it-all red line on Microsoft Word. Always trying to correct your spelling and shit. Fuck that. Trust your instincts and soon you'll be a certified gangster. Oh, you are so gangster. Yeah. I do apologize, but your conversation is cut short. This is the library, and Spike, like the real gangster he is, needs to break us in here. But I was just taught... Spike, I'm gonna go insane if I have to listen to another word of your conversation. So for the love of God, get us in the library. Watch this, Spike. Your gangster lessons are paying off. Yes, well, uh, thanks for all your help, uh, but we gotta go. Bye! Man, you a killjoy. Well, sorry, but this friend-making business is driving me up the damn wall. I can't take much more of it. You just suck the fun out of everything, don't you? Fun? Are you kidding me, Spike? This has been the craziest day ever, and I can't take any more. Now, where's the light? Surprise! <laughs> Hi, I'm Pinkie Pie, and I'm a hyperactive character wannabe friends, do you do you? Ha ha ha. Excellent idea! Not really, it's a terrible idea. Really? You think so? Because I always have the bestest, best of the best ideas. Hey, remember when you first got here? Remember? You were all like, what's up, Doc? And I was all like... Remember? I did that because I'm scared of doctors. In fact, the mere mention of the word Doc or Doctor sends shivers down my spine. You see, there was this one time where I was sent to the vet, which was weird because I'm not a pet. I'm a pony. Humans are pets. What's a human, you ask? I don't know. Why are you asking me? Anyway, so doctors always make me go. And so to make myself feel better, I decided to throw this party and invite loads of random ponies I don't even know. And now we have lots and lots of friends. Hot, 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 Wow, she must love hot sauce. Damn, Twy, you gotta be shitting out your damn kidneys. Ooh, let me try. Mmm, wow, it's good. Mm. Hey, Twy, you gotta come see this really pole dancing. Pole dancing! What? Why would I want to see that? You crazy? I'm not a lesbian, Spike! It's only a bit of harmless fun, girl. Rarity's fine ass is the talk of the town. Mm. That does sound good. Trust me, you don't know what you're missing, Twilight. Oh, look at me, I'm Spike. Blah, 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 blah. Ugh. All I want to do is sleep this night off like it's a bad hangover. But then again, Rarity's plot does sound like it's good. What am I talking about? I'm a straight mare. I'm not at all interested in Rarity's plot. Nuh-uh, not me. There's no way I'm going to that party tonight. Oh shit, I almost forgot. I almost forgot about making friends of Nightmare Moon. Princess Sunbud did tell me not to, but Friend Making 101 showed me how to make friends with even the most dastardly of foes. Nightmare Moon is sure to be my friend. Holy shit, that moon is so pretty. Hmm, does this count that Nightmare Moon is mooning me? If so, I like it! Hey, <laughs> Wily, it's time to watch the sunrise! Phillies and gentle colts, as mayor of Townsville, uh, I mean, uh, Ponyville, it's my pleasure to begin the summer sun celebration. Yeah! <laughs> Boo! You suck. Yeah. And now, it is my great honor to introduce to you the ruler of our land, the very pony who gives us the sun and the moon each day, the good, the wise and sexually attractive, the bringer of ketchup, Princess Sunbutt! <laughs> Shit's about to go down. She's gone! <gasps> oh my god! No, 
now is my chance to make a friend. Oh, it feels so good to be out of that wretched moon. Do you have any idea what it's like to be trapped in a single place for 1,000 years? No, you don't! It's extremely boring. There's nothing to do. Not a single Monopoly board in sight. What did you do with our princess? Hold your horses there, partner. <laughs> I made a funny. <laughs> Why, don't you want to be my friend? Do you have any idea who I am? I do. I want to be your friend. We shall have a tea party, Nightmare Moon. I was joking, you idiot. I don't need any friends. I'm even. <laughs> yep, I fucked up. Game over, man. Game over!